According to the CDC, in 2019, there were over 5 million deaths worldwide associated with some aspect of antibiotic resistance. Today, we will be talking about the bacteriophage, also known as phage, and how this little virus may just save the world. But before we get into how the phage may save us, it is important to understand what phages are and how they work. Bacteriophage destroy up to 40% of the bacteria in the ocean every day, which is why it makes sense that bacteriophage translates to bacteria eater. The bacteriophage are a family of viruses that infect and kill bacteria. They are composed of a capsid head containing genetic material, a sheath and base plate, ending with spikes. The bacteriophage we will be learning about today are lytic, meaning that they go through a lytic cycle, which results in quick death of bacteria. Bacteriophage will approach a bacteria and attach via their spikes. After this victory, the phage will insert its DNA into the bacteria via its shaft. The viral DNA will then be transcribed and translated by the bacterial machinery, such as ribosomes. This will then trigger the breakdown of bacterial genome. With only the viral DNA remaining, the machinery of the bacteria will follow the orders of the viral DNA, creating more and more phages until the bacteria bursts. Now that we know how phages work, we will take a look at how phages can be applied to the antibiotic resistance crisis. Antibiotic resistance is primarily spread through horizontal gene transfer, which is when bacteria gain new genes through plasmids, either from other bacteria or from uptake in the environment around them. After initially being discovered in 1917, bacteriophage cocktails were used to treat infections such as dysentery until antibiotics were discovered and bacteriophage use faded. However, due to the benefits of bacteriophage over antibiotics, they are now re-emerging as a potential solution. Bacteriophage are extremely specific, meaning they only kill intended bacteria. Due to this specificity, the bacteriophage will not kill any of the good bacteria that we need as humans. Additionally, unlike antibiotics, the phage are capable of evolving. This is important because it means even if the bacteria finds ways to be resistant to the phage, the phage's survival depends on it being able to keep killing the bacteria. However, this brings us to the biggest hurdle in phage use today. The biggest obstacle to phage use is doctors figuring out which strains need to be applied. If this knowledge can be increased, phage can be used more often and in more studies, which will then give us more recorded applications so we have a full picture of phage use. While more research is still needed, phage cocktail use seems to have low risks and provides a very promising solution to the growing antibiotic resistance crisis.